According to the latest data, there are approximately 2.6 million small and medium enterprises active in Turkey. These account for 99% of all companies in the country and are the source of 78% of total employment. As well as being Turkey's economic backbone, SMEs are also considered to be the most effective mechanism for balancing the economic activity among different regions of the country. So it's no wonder that the government is pledging to do all it can to help Turkish SMEs thrive and prosper. Entrepreneurship is another area which is very important to us and which we support. Turkey has various organizations such as COSGEP, which provide opportunities to entrepreneurs. Turkey will continue to share experience in this respect with friendly and brotherly countries, and our goal is to continue to grow by focusing on these issues. We caught up with Jenkit Durgan, founding partner at Aslanova Capital, a venture capital firm that focuses on early stage tech startups in Turkey. What do you see are the biggest challenges to startups in Turkey? Is it the funding? I think funding is a huge challenge. Uh, prior to us, uh, there were very, very few uh, early stage investors. Uh, the amount of capital available in Turkey uh, was a problem. I think that with our arrival, especially uh, in 2013, as well as the investments that we made in 2014, that gap has closed. However, we're nowhere near the levels uh, venture capital investment that we see in markets like the U.S. or uh, Western Europe. Uh, the other challenges, talent. Uh, there hasn't been as many success stories, tech entrepreneurial success stories in Turkey. And as a result, the base of mentors in order to guide the next generation of entrepreneurs really isn't there yet. Recent success stories that we've seen in Turkey, uh, like Gitti Gidior, uh, the local eBay, Markafoni, and Trendyol, which are like the local guilt group, are hopefully going to breed the next generation of uh, entrepreneurs.